Hello, everyone. This is your Sunday evening CareQE.com webcast. Here's Ian Schwartz with a quick look at the forecast. Thanks, Tim. Breezy today, a calm night for tonight, but tomorrow, that's when things start to change. The system does pull in, and it's going to bring some serious wind to the state starting from the west. And then as we get into Tuesday, it'll spread to the east. Also, some snow with this storm, but most of it is going to stay far to the north. Southern Colorado, northern New Mexico, some slight activity possible in the northeast and then also the Gila. But the main focus really will be the wind, or at least that's the most noticeable thing with this system. As we get into Wednesday, the snow will thin out and the wind will finally die down. We'll hang on to some slightly breezy conditions out there. Here in Albuquerque, a couple of windy days, cooler temperatures for Wednesday, and then we bounce back for the rest of the week. Thank you, Ian. A National Guardsman is behind bars for the city's latest homicide, accused of using a rifle to kill his friend. 22-year-old Anthony Baldonado, a member of the Army National Guard, made his first appearance in court today. Police say he shot and killed 33-year-old Gilbert Danny Chavez, seen here. Now, this is video from the scene early yesterday morning on the 2500 block of Oro Vista near Rio Grande and Candelaria. Police say the victim's cousin called 911 just after 2 a.m. He told police the men were fighting inside the house. He said both men pulled guns on each other when Baldonado shot Chavez several times. Baldonado told police he fired in self-defense. According to the criminal complaint, Baldonado said he took the rifle inside the home only because Chavez liked looking at his guns. A spokesperson for the National Guard says Baldonado has been with them for five years and that, quote, up to this point he has served honorably and done a good job for us. It is unfortunate that he is involved in an incident of this nature, end quote. A major traffic tie-up today on Interstate 40. A large part of the freeway had to be shut down here in Albuquerque because of this. A semi-truck with a load of frozen meat somehow caught fire today on the eastbound lanes. This is video sent in by viewer Sean Robertson or the westbound lanes, rather. This is what's left of the semi-truck now. Police had to shut down the westbound lanes from tramway to Eubank so emergency crews could put out the fire and clean up the mess. It took about three hours to reopen the freeway. I-40 westbound was reopened a little after 4.30 this afternoon. A woman found severely injured inside a Santa Fe home yesterday has passed away. Right now, police are handling the case as a suspicious death. Today, they identified the woman as 49-year-old Karen Dunn-Smith. Santa Fe police say she passed away at Christus St. Vincent Regional Medical Center after she was discovered yesterday morning in a home on the 1500 block of Don Gaspar. Police say she was found with severe traumatic injuries, possibly from a beating, but they can't say for sure yet. They're now waiting for an autopsy to determine a cause of death. So, so far, they've executed search warrants on two separate locations. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates. I'm Tim Maestas. Thanks for logging on.